Blockchain.com. Hum, 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 hum. Okay. Have I ever voted to not pardon someone? Right, you've voted on a few pardons, I assume. Uh... Not really. So that's one of New Hampshire's executive counselors. She, along with the other counselors and the governor, uh, have the constitutional power to grant pardons. It's like a, a vote they take. But as you can see, the whole pardon process is really not at the forefront of the politicians' thinking in New Hampshire. It doesn't seem to happen very often. They get some press when it happens, but I mean, if you search the word partner, uh, I'm sorry, uh, pardon on unionleader.com, you will not find a huge number of stories. Certainly not in relation to the huge number of stories about drug arrests, which are much more common than any pardon. So my thinking is that part of the part of the freedom process in New Hampshire. And something we should be giving more thought to is how do we turn pardons into in, into you know the main thing that the executive council and the governor are doing? I mean, yes, they're going to wrangle over the budget some, but because because the executive council can can basically veto some spending. But the, I mean, you would think these people should be hearing pardons every day or. Or we're working on pardons all the time, you know, basically considering how many victimless criminals there are in jail, how many, hun you know, hundreds of thousands of awesome cases you could probably make for pardons in New Hampshire. And I think, you know, this could be a really powerful thing for a gubernatorial candidate to bring up. Like, hey, you know, if I become governor, uh... I'm going to do X, Y, and Z to ensure that instead of hearing X number of pardons per year, we're going to hear X times 10 numbers of pardons per year. And these are the kinds of cases that I believe should get priority. Now, I'm not positive this would be the argument you make if you want to win, but it would at least be one that would get an interesting discussion going. And it might, in fact, be relatively popular with the people. A lot of it would depend on the PR approach and how much PR backup the, this gubernatorial candidate got. Oh, wow, good. But, you know, we've had pro-liberty people, you know, at least moving toward running for governor in New Hampshire, real pro-liberty people. And though some of them might agree with me on this, I've never heard of any of them bringing this up. I don't know how it would work exactly or what limitations a governor would have in bringing it all about but hey i brought it up at this executive council meeting so you can do something with it somewhere none of us are powerless as usual none of us are powerless okay. blockchain.info's free bitcoin web wallet chock full of privacy and security features two-factor authentication a second password for sending coins they never have control over your passwords or your coins. They don't even require your personal info. Get yours today at blockchain.com. Hum, 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 hum.